Good morning, good morning. Welcome to the Keto Mom page. My name is Stephanie, and we are going to dive into this book that we've been going through maybe a month. Um, but I want to welcome you here. If, you've, if you are brand new to the page, I would love for you to post a new below. Uh, I like to focus on mindset in the mornings because I realized years ago that most people eat out of emotion, they eat out of their feelings. A lot of people eat their feelings, right? And so as I was helping people pick recipes and uh, drink their water and move their body and eat healthier, one thing that was lacking in a lot of people's lives was self-development or understanding mindset, gratitude, things like journaling, just the fact that people weren't taking time to just go, "Ah." and having an awareness of how often they were eating, what they were eating. So that brought me to doing books in the morning. Lots of different types of books, right? Books to help you uh, bring you awareness and perspective and how-to books and setting goals and vision and lots of different things. And so I, uh, oh, I got distracted, I'm looking. Okay, so if you have questions at any point in time, uh, you can ask your questions below. Uh, as far as, uh, I'm sorry, <laughs> this is why I don't read questions because then I'm like, wait, I want to answer that question and I didn't actually know what it was saying. So if you have questions, ask them below and I will pop on later and send you a message and answer your questions. Now, uh, in general, your mindset is important. I say it all the time, right? Like you can scroll through this page for the last seven years and you can go ahead and get the recipes that you want and make a list of foods that you like and you can go move your body and understand you should be drinking half your body in ounces of water and you can make a checklist of all of the keto things But if you don't get to the root cause of the issue, then it's just going to keep you in this spiral motion, right? So oftentimes I say, uh, why do you overeat? Why do you find yourself going through the drive-thru? Why do you do the things that you do? And if you don't take time throughout the day to just be aware of it, you don't get to the root of it, right? And so, man, there's so many things that I've just talk to people every single day about. And and even the conversation I had this the other day, yesterday, for a long time, uh, around unforgiveness and family members and the reason why you might be where you are today is because of people in your past or environments or stress or things like that, right? Somebody just said stress. And it does play a factor of food. People don't correlate like other people, situations, environments, mindset, lack of how you were grown up to how they are today. They might just be like, well, I crave sugar, so that's why I might be overweight. Well, well, why? Why? Right? And so if you just get to that ans- asking yourself those questions of why do I do what I do? Why did I not prep my food? I know I should do it. Why did I not do it? I know I should go move my body in some way, shape, or form. Why did I make the excuse and sat sat on the couch? Why? Well, I was tired. Why was I tired? I worked all day. Should I use my time wisely and should I have walked in the afternoon? Should I have got up early and went to the gym? Like, why did I grab the Oreos? Oh, because they were on the counter, out of sight, out of mind. I don't need them in the home. Why did I go through the drive-thru? Because I didn't prepare. I didn't pack my lunch. Why didn't I pack my lunch? Because I hit snooze. Why did I hit snooze? Because I'm tired. I went to bed at midnight and watched three Netflix shows instead of going to bed. Does that make sense? Like if you can just take some time. And what I mean by that is take some time, right? Because people don't do that. They want the quick fix. They want the the weight gone in two weeks. They want the magic potion and all of the things. There's, there's no overnight, there, there, there isn't. And when you watch social media, you might feel like people have overnight success, but you didn't see the years of ups and downs and mountains and valleys and processes and learning and fails and up. like you didn't see it. You get to see the before and after picture. It wasn't overnight at all. And if you ask them specifically, they would tell you all the things they had to go through. So anyways, I hope you're having a great morning. This page We'll give you recipes. You can send me a message at any point in time and I will answer you. And I will help you on your journey. I'm not a doctor, but I'll give you some insight of what I've learned, things I've dove into. 
I've learned a lot. I've had some incredible people, mentors, our CEO, people that have poured into me because they believed in me. And I'm a completely different person seven years from when we actually started this journey, almost seven and a half years, than I was when I started. When I first started, I was a mom who in my mindset, I was just a mom. I'm not saying that's bad, but seven and a half years ago, I was in this space where I was like, I'm just a mom. Nope, I don't have value to add. Uh, <clears throat> I would never go to the gym. I would rarely ever work on myself because I felt like it was selfish. I never left my kids home. Like I never, I would rarely leave them with a babysitter. I didn't leave our fourth daughter for two years. I don't think I left her because I never had another mom tell me it's okay to go to the gym. Guess what? It's okay to do a little bit of self care so that you can overflow into your children. Right? I never had that. When I found this lifestyle and it was a community, when I had people go, Hey, you do know that you have value to add. You're more than just a mom. Moms are great. But what are you passionate about? What do you want to do? What are things that you want to see and accomplish? I was like, I don't know. And I had people pour into me, which was incredible. And so I'm a completely different person. So I want you to know that this group, sure, you can come and just get recipes and that's great. I can tell you exactly how to eat. I hope it works for you. But if you're not going to truly take on the aspect of like, I need to figure out some roots that need to be dug up. I need to figure out why I do what I do. I want to plug into this page because maybe you don't have a local community or an environment that grows you. I want you to take it in and go, I, what do I truly want? Like fat loss is great, but I'm going to guess you've got a passion or a vision or something that you're like, if money wasn't an object, I would do this. If time wasn't a factor, I would do this. Like, what is something that you're like, this is my gifting. I haven't dove into it because you know what? Most of the time people hold back because they don't like how they feel. They don't like how they look. And that's something that can be fixed, but you've got something to offer to the world, right? Yes, you do. You've got, and if you don't and you're lacking vision, it's time to start finding it because we all have a purpose. We all were created for a purpose. We all have greatness inside of us. And there's something that you're supposed to do and only you You've got to figure that out. You can't let things like, well, I don't like how I look, hold you back. I don't like this. Guess what? We're going to work through that. So there's lots of books that we've gone through that will help you in lots of different areas of your life. So one of the books that we did was called Kazone. And it was like working through the spokes in your life to figure out your calling. So if you've never, if you're brand new, you can go to ketomomsecrets.com and click on book club. And then it will show you all of the books that we've done. You can always tune in here. You can send me a message, but that would be a place to start to look at some other books that might pertain to what you're working on because everybody's different. Like this book, just so you know, <clears throat> isn't a book. I, I shouldn't say, I think you can learn from anything. This book has to do with really, truly helping people understand where to spend their time, their energy, and their priorities. So if you're like, my time isn't allotted right, I'm not working in my best time frames. I have low energy. My priorities are out of whack. This book is for you, right? So I just give you the highlights of what it's about. I'm not doing the work for you, and I don't even have all the questions for you, but I'm going to tell you what it's about, and it might pertain to you. It might not. You might be like, I've got my time allotted right. I actually feel great in time management. So <clears throat> whatever it is, I'm going to read a couple things to you because it really is great insight. And then you can take what you want, you can think about it today, have some new awareness, and you can move on towards your goal and your focus. All right. So as you're tuning in, uh, why don't you tell me, um, here's this, this book is great. It actually really is great. So if you have not shared, if you haven't been grateful today, tell me one thing you're grateful for. Gratitude is important, right? So here's the highlight of this chapter. We're on chapter five. And he says, while you have 24 hour, 24 equal hours in a day, we all do. Not all hours feel equal or productive. Leveraging your energy is where the exponential return begins. So he talks about having different colored zones of energy and how your day is spent is dependent on how productive you are. Do you know how to work in your green zone? Or is your day, do you try to do your, your priorities in your red zone and it never gets done? He goes, a narrow gifting can be superpower. 
Gifting, your giftings plus your passion plus your impact e equals optimal green zone. Your gifting is what you're naturally good at. So you might be like, I don't know. What are you naturally good at? He goes, your passion is what you love to do, what gives you energy. He goes, in the same way that not all hours are created equal, not all tasks are created equal as well. He's going to try to help you understand how to spend your time and what to spend your time on. Not scrolling, not sitting in front of this thing, like not doing things mindlessly, but like truly figuring out, like, here's the things I want to do. How do I get it done and productive? How do I maximize my time? Because how many times do you get to the end of the day and you're like, oh, oh I wanted to. I wanted to get this, this, and this done. And if you were to watch a reel or a live of your day, I bet you if you were to backtrack and rewind, you could, you could actually go point out all of the times that you wasted your time, right? And social media has a big part to do with that, and this television does as well, right? So if you were to take those two things out, I love social media. I think it's great. It's great for learning. And then I tell people, you have to learn and implement. You don't just learn, learn, learn. You've got to learn and take action. But if you're scrolling in comparison or <clears throat> because you're bored, you're not spending your time wisely. All right. He goes, impact, I'm sorry, no, I don't want to do that one, just because it doesn't make sense to this. The more, if you didn't read the whole book, the more natural giftings you are, the more naturally gifted gifted you are at something, the easier it is to spend time on it. You cheat your gift when you use it, but never take the time to develop it. I thought that was great, excuse me. <coughs> sorry, two more. Use your most productive hours to develop your gifts, not just, not just use it. And then your green zone, when leveraged, will, will become the most treasured hours of your day, whether you're at work or you're at home. I was thinking about this. I'm like, when is my most productive hours of my day? Mine is the afternoon. Like, I like to get up. I like to read. <clears throat> I like my mornings. I have a morning routine, but my most productive times, when, I, when I'm focused and get a ton done, it's about 2 o'clock like two to five ish afternoon time, even at one o'clock. It just depends on how long it takes us to get school done. So in that time, I'm going to knock out and use, do my priorities and I'm going to be the most productive in that time. Anyways, this book is great. <clears throat> there is a ton of activities and questions and a lot of stories. So if you're looking for something, you should grab this book or I'm, I don't know if he has an audible. He might and listen to it. Otherwise, let me ask you this question. What are some things that you need to focus? What are some things you're looking for? Um, how do I ask? What do you need? Tell me what you need. Like if, if it's, <clears throat> if it's more recipes, I say go to ketomomsecrets.com, click on recipes and, and I'll always share more recipes, right? <clears throat> Man, <clears throat> sorry. But what do you feel like you need? Is it, is it understanding of habits, how to create healthy habits? Is it taking action? Is it, I need vision? Like, what do you need? And I can direct you to a book or, <coughs> oh goodness, I'm so sorry. It's never, it's like, I'm like constantly going, am I allergic to something? I don't understand. This frustrates me. I'm like lathering peppermint oil on me. So if anybody has any ideas of how to get rid of like excess phlegm. I know it sounds disgusting. I'm like desperate to be done with it. So anyways, random drinking water, not sick. It just sits there. Super annoying. Okay. Side note, not about me. This is about you. What do you need? Tell me what you need. Tell me how I can help. I either have a book or some wisdom. Maybe somebody taught me. I can give you some guidance, hopefully. So tell me what you need. Action. All right. You need to learn how to take action. So I will find books and different things to help you and, uh, and it might be a book we go through together. Or I'll just tell you a book to read because I have read so many books. I had a friend reach out to me and she's like, Hey, what is the next book? And I'm like, man, <clears throat> honestly, I don't know. I said, I have, uh, we probably own hundreds of books ourselves, but I've read so many books that I'm like, I'm even on a quest for myself of like, what is something else I'd like to learn? Because when you dive into self-development and you figure out certain things, 
and you understand yourself, there is an aspect of there's a lot of books that are the same. And they all say the same thing, different stories, a little bit different wording. But when you understand and have an awareness of gratitude and taking action and EQ and AQ, and when you understand a lot of like self stuff, you can read all the books and be like, yep, I get it. I've already read this. So actually for me, besides doing a book on here with you, I have only been reading my Bible. It's the only thing that makes me not go, I don't really want to read that. So that's what I've been doing on my personal reading level is I have been diving into this. It has been, it has been feeding my spirit. If that's not for you, that's for me. So I am going to look for another book and it'll be based on what you're looking for. And if I have one right now, if I see that you're looking for something, I will um, send you a suggestion. Actually, you know what I'll do today? is I'll go through and then my stories and then maybe on my live tomorrow morning, I'll take all the books that we have done and give you suggestions of things that we've already talked about and books that we've already done. And maybe that's something that you just go through as well. Books are valuable. People are valuable like podcasts and learning from other people that have already done what you have done. Like learning from somebody else and watching and learning from what they've already gone through so you don't have to go through all the yuck is powerful. Like if you want to get somewhere faster, like people joke and they're like, all right, Stephanie, what is your ketones? And I'm like, this isn't a magic pill, right? This is not. I drink it. Like I could easily say, why do you drink coffee? Well, it wakes me up in the morning. Gives me the energy I need. Awesome. Me too. Why do you drink coffee and energy drinks throughout the day? Like this isn't going to fix your problem. It's going to help it, right? And so oftentimes I tell people, books are great. And the only way that you're going to get further faster, the only way that you get to maybe jump a couple steps or, you know, not the microwavable, but like if you want the Insta, if you want the Insta, that's learning from somebody else and then taking action because they taught you what not to do. That's as fast as you get to go, right? Like learning from other people and then going for it and not having to do the slip ups like they did. That's the power of reading and learning and asking somebody to mentor you, being around like-minded people. Like we say, you are like the top five people you hang around with. So if you're struggling with certain things in your life, maybe look at your friend group and it might be everybody struggling with the same thing. And then you're like, oh, I actually need to find somebody that's already overcome this or a different peer group, or maybe I spend less time. I'm not saying to unfriend people, but there is an aspect of finding people that have already done it, a person, a podcast, like less time at the bar, more time somewhere else. I'm just saying, right? Less time in certain environments, more time in other places, less time here so that you can put better time here. So anyways, however that spoke to you, I hope you have an incredible morning. Thank you for tuning in. I will share a whole bunch of books tomorrow of all of the books that I'm going to have to go through my bookshelves of the books that we've gone through, uh, what they cover and how they can help you so that you can choose one of those. And then I'll, I will choose a new book for, for after we're done with this one. I just don't know what it's going to be. So we'll see. Maybe I have to go through Barnes and Noble because I love walking in that store. All right. Thank you for always commenting below. I love to see your comments, ask questions, share with me what you're looking for. I hope you guys have an incredible morning and I will be back on later. We'll talk to you very soon. Bye.